the Wiggles have made a series of big announcements this morning with one member deciding to permanently hang up their skippy. Let's get some more. Our entertainment editor, Peter Ford. Good morning to be. What's happening? Yeah, never a dull moment in Wiggle World and they are always evolving and changing and coming up with something. So two big things have happened today. Firstly, we have the news that Emma has decided to leave the Wiggles. That's a huge thing after 11 years. A couple of radio hosts I was on with this morning who have young kids said to me, you're all seriousness, you know, how do I break this news to my kids? Because, you know, she's such an engaging personality yeah, and kids become very attached to her. But she's leaving for really great reasons. She's going off to work on her PhD, which is all to do with sign language involving music and film editing. I don't fully understand it, but no doubt she will explain it. But it what a great ambassador for the sign language world, the deaf community, to actually have someone like Emma being in there and doing great things and raising awareness. So uh, it's not at this point about pursuing any performing arts things, but that may come in time. But uh, we've had her on the show many times, of course. In fact, earlier this year she was on and she was talking about some of that work that she's doing. Have a look. Currently I'm studying a PhD which is researching the creative integration of dance, sign language and film which are all huge passions of mine wow. and so most of uh, those kinds of projects are happening out of pure love. <laughs> So forevermore in the history books as the first female Wiggle, yes. and we of course wish her well and no doubt we'll keep in touch with her, but uh, she is replaced by Tashay Hawkins, who is also in the history books now, as she is now the youngest Wiggle ever, at just 15. And if you saw her on Sunrise this morning, Sunrise are right, right across this as an exclusive, she is absolutely a firecracker. She's an amazing young performer. So she's been working with the Wiggles on the fruit salad show, so she knows exactly what she's in for. What you've got to remember with the Wiggles, and I suspect this may have prompted Emma's decision, is that when things get sort of back to normal next year, the Wiggles go on the road right around the world mm. for like eight months of the year. So that's that's very problematic, for, you know, if you want to do study, etc. So uh, that's the big news. The other big news is the reformation, is that the right word? Re re reforming of the original Wiggles all getting back together again and going on the road now these will be 18 plus shows so you don't take the kids to these ones uh, it's about just reliving your childhood and being a dag and having fun they've done some of these as one-offs and they've just gone gangbusters and so they've said let's do it on a bigger scale let's go into the arenas next year they're including Darwin they're including Hobart they're going right around the country of course three of the four blokes have had major heart surgery but that's not slowing them down they're fighting fit so that's going to be a massive tour for next year how fun <laughs>